Hello everyone. In this in this session, we will discuss poles and zeros configuration regarding the our Nyquist plot. So, how we are using these poles and zeros configuration in Nyquist plot, we will discuss in this session. So, generally, we know the open loop transfer function is like this. I will write the open loop transfer function is like this that is g h so open loop transfer function generally g h of s that value equal to dc gain into numerator by denominator numerator by denominator here you know that n of s is zeros of open loop transfer function always it will give the zeros of open loop transfer function what is d of s d of s give poles of open loop transfer function so by using this open loop transfer function we will find out the closed loop transfer function so how we will find out the closed loop transfer function so the closed loop transfer function is like this that is g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s so if you do this so this is the g of s and just put the g of s into h of s value what is that value k into n of s by d of s so so we, if you are doing the lcm and this become d, d of s plus k into n of s then d of s will become into the numerator so that's why i will write like this that is g of s into d of s by d of s plus k into n of s okay so if you for closed loop transfer function just observe here what is this g of s into d of s this is zeros of zeros of closed loop transfer function these will give the zeros g of s into d of s file what about d of s plus k into n of s this will give poles of closed loop transfer function poles of closed loop transfer function okay so from this what is so we are finding open loop transfer function and closed loop transfer function next we will analyze the characteristic equation c so what is characteristic equation generally that is 1 plus g of s into h of s so that's why 1 plus g of s into h of s value this is the value so this is k into numerator by denominator so if you take the characteristic equation means this value is equal to 0 that will be right 1 plus k into n of s by d of s is equals to 0. So if you're doing the LCM that has the d of s and this is the d of s plus k into n of s is equals to 0. So finally we have this is d of s plus k into n of s by d of s. So here what it represents generally d of s plus k into n of s. So we will write again here. What is the numerator here? This is the d of s. What is represents poles of characteristic equation. So finally, it will give the poles of the characteristic equation. And what about this? And these poles of the characteristic equation will be equal to what about d of s here? Poles of the open loop transfer function. This is also the poles of open loop transfer function so what is another thing the another thing is d of s plus k into n of s this is the other thing what is represents this is generally the zeros of characteristic equation this is the zeros of the characteristic equation and we have the another thing that is this is the poles of the closed loop transfer function. So, it will give the poles of the closed loop transfer function. So, observe here. 
if you take the poles of the characteristic equation equal to the poles of the open loop transfer function this is the first point this is the first point look at here zeros of characteristic equation is nothing but closed loop poles of the closed loop transfer function here poles of the characteristic equation will give poles of open loop transfer function here zeros of the characteristic equation will give poles of the closed loop transfer function these are the two equations are very very important these are very much useful analyzing the system analyzing the system in the nyquist plot system in the nyquist plot here by using this concept we will write so we will take the the finally we will write one thing that is n equal to p plus p plus minus z plus this is one equation so i will give some clarity about this the equation here the n equal to n circlements of that will give the n circlements of minus 1 plus j0 minus 1 plus j0 it will give n circlements of minus 1 plus j0 why we are taking the minus 1 plus j0 only so just observe just analyze here we will discuss uh, some concept so generally you know the characteristic equation that is 1 plus j of s h of s is equals to 0 from this i will write g of s h of s is equals to minus 1 okay now g of s h of s is minus 1 plus j0 minus 1 plus j0 that's why here g of s from the open loop transfer function we will find out the from the characteristic equation we will find out the open loop transfer function that is minus 1 plus j0 so that's why we should take n circle means of minus 1 plus j0 minus 1 plus j0 next what is p plus here we have the p plus what is the meaning of that p plus so here p plus represents poles of characteristic equation on rh plane so that will give poles of characteristic equation well, look at here here the poles of characteristic equation in rh plane that's only we are writing here rh plane and and we can name the another name that is poles of what is p, p plus here look at here poles of open loop transfer function in rh plane poles of open loop transfer function in rh plane both are same why both are same just observe the diagram this d of s poles of characteristic equation that is nothing but poles of open loop transfer function okay we should take the reference is the characteristic equation here next next is z plus so what is z plus here z plus this is name itself zeros of characteristic equation zeros of characteristic equation that is nothing but this is also these are also the closed loop poles of closed loop poles in rh s plane rh right hand side of s plane so that will give closed loop poles in in right hand side of s plane so for s plane it will give the closed loop right hand poles okay why look at here here this part zeros of the characteristic equation those are nothing but the closed loop poles of the characteristic equation yes so, so generally for 
any stable system the closure loop poles in rh s plane is zero generally so we will write that point if if the system is stable if any system is is stable stable closed loop poles on rs plane closed loop poles in rh plane rh plane is zero that means so for general this is the general concept this is not a different concept do you know this concept whenever the system is stable automatically closed loop poles in the system is zero simply okay so that means i will write like this closed loop poles zero means z plus is equals to zero z plus is equal to right because these are nothing but the closed loop poles is represents by z plus here so then i will write n equal to, this is for z plus means downward but it will take downward n circumference equal positive minus z plus what is z plus value that is that is zero i will write this is the positive plus so in order to become the system this is the condition for whenever n equal to p plus will give will give condition for will give condition for system stability so if the system is stable then directly you should find out the open loop poles directly you will kind find out open loop poles that open loop poles must be equal to the n circumference then the system is directly stable okay if the system is doesn't have stable it has some closed loop poles in a right side of right side of s plane okay right side of s plane so open loop poles in right ha right hand side of s plane there is no problem but the zeros are closed loop poles in the right hand side must be zero okay so this is the poles zeros configuration regarding the nyquist plot uh, those are very 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 much useful to analyze the system stability for nyquist plot i hope all of you understand this session thank you